Thanks for joining us on Good Day Colorado, taking a live look towards the Rockies this morning. It is a cold start to the day, just eight degrees. We'll have more in your forecast in a minute. But first, you found a new job, but now comes the hard part, right? Delivering the news to your manager and colleagues. So how do you leave a job without burning bridges? Career coach Chrissy Civic from Eat Your Career here to answer your questions this morning. We've all seen, what, Jerry Maguire when he leaves the office in the blaze <laughs> Who's of glory, coming right? With me? Yeah, he's screaming at everybody. <laughs> Not what you want to do, right? No, that is not what you <laughs> want to do. Um, it's really hard to quit. It can be kind of like a breakup, mm -hmm. you know? People get emotional yep. about it. People can have their feelings hurt. Uh, probably the biggest mistake that people make is not respecting that standard two-week notice period. And you've got to keep in mind that two weeks is kind of a minimum. If you are a more senior, higher-level employee, then you want to at least offer an extended window for that notice period up mm -hmm. to maybe even a month. It's it's just showing that you really respect uh, the organization. You want to be considerate of your colleagues. Yeah. So it's one of those things that, you know, even if you really, really don't want to stay and you're ready to escape, you've got to just bite the bullet and do at least two weeks notice. And that two weeks is not mean, hey, I have 10 days of vacation. I want to take those for the right. last two weeks. Yeah, and that's actually the next point yeah. is that you want to stay focused and wrap up as many projects as you can while you're there. It's so easy because you've got one foot out the door. It's easy to just, you know, you're, you're thinking about your future. You're not really thinking about what's going on in the present. And your colleagues notice that. The last impression that you make on people is a lasting impression. So you want to show them that you care about the success of the team and the organization. And you're willing to do your part even as you're kind of walking out the door. And even also before you leave too, if say they hire a replacement, work with that person, right? Right. If you can help train your replacement, that is wonderful. You can always do things like write out instructions for how to do your critical tasks. Um, a lot of times they don't actually have a replacement ready to go within your notice window. But if you want to be really generous, you can actually offer to come back at some point in the future for just a couple of hours and train that individual once they have them in place. Your employer probably is not going to take you up on that, <laughs> but you're showing that you're willing to go over and beyond to help make the transition really smooth. And also, you don't want to just say, you know, it's not my problem anymore if you had projects that you were working on, right? You want to leave organized? Is that what you're saying too? How do we do that? Right, absolutely. And this is all about your space. Mm -hmm. You want to leave things clean, organized, easy to find. Your colleagues need to pick things up where you left off. They need your files, your paperwork, your computer, your desk. Don't leave all your personal junk in there for them to take care of. It's It sounds so obvious, but people do it all the time. And then what happens is your colleagues are kind of, you know, cursing your name while you're gone, and that's horrible. And that's the last the impression that they're going to have of you when you exactly. left. Exactly. You left your office a mess and they couldn't find anything that they needed. Really right? disrespectful, yeah. All right, the last point you wanted to make, and this is a big one these days with social media, do not publicize your grievances, right? Yeah, I think we've all had those fantasies from mm -hmm. time to time of doing <laughs> what the Goldman Sachs executive did right. a while back. Right. New York Times op-ed, scathing, you know, <laughs> here's everything I don't like about the company, mm -hmm. and that's a great way to burn your bridges. Mm -hmm. So you do want to be really careful about who you talk to. If your manager is asking for direct feedback, you can certainly give some of the reasons why you're leaving in a very professional, respectful, non-emotional sort of way. Um, what happens though is that once you give your notice, everybody comes out of the woodwork and they want to talk to you about it. They want to know why. Try to just focus on the positive path you're taking for your career. You're really excited. Don't laundry list them with everything you're not happy about because remember, they're staying there. You're just going to create this negative environment for them. And you never know when you're going to need those people to help you out uh, down the road, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. These are great professional contacts. They're potentially references for you in the future, so you want to protect those relationships. Chrissy, thanks, as always. And you can find more information in the on-air section of our website at kdvr.com. Just click on the link to each your career. All right, Shauna and Mel uh, over in the weather